Hi, um, today is February 29th, it's leap day, and tomorrow is March 1st, which is, meteorologically, the first day of spring. This is something that, I guess, kind of upsets me with people, is they'll always think that the beginning of spring is on the vernal equinox, which is usually around, it's usually March 20th, but it can sometimes be like a day off, um, which is kind of true. I mean, um, on calendars, they always write the first day of spring as being on the equinox, which is when there's um, 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of darkness. Um, and then, like, they denote the first day of summer as being the summer solstice, which is when they're the day with the most daylight. Um, which makes astronomical sense, but from a meteorological standpoint, which is really what seasons are. So what's the really, the point of seasons is to group them according to how the weather is during those seasons. Um... I know in other places around the world, I think there aren't four seasons, there are sometimes like six or something, because it's not be necessarily based on what's happening uh, with Earth's rotation around the sun, it's based on um, the weather and maybe they have like rainy spells and dry spells and different weather than we might know, but um, so I think for most of the northern hemisphere if you're doing it by the weather spring is March April May summer is June July August um which also kind of makes sense if you think about it because like um the fall equinox is on September 22nd but so most of September is still summer Technically, um, well, according to the calendar's definition of the seasons, but, um, if you think about September, you think of it as a fall month. Um, and I'm trying to think, most of March would technically be winter, but you think of March as a spring month. Um, and most of June would technically be spring, but you think of June as a summer month. So, um, what did I leave out? Ah, uh, and most of December would technically be fall. And we don't think of December as fall, we think of it as winter. Which makes sense because that correlates with the seasons. So I guess what, what it means by meteorologically correct seasons is that um, the hottest day of the year is probably around like July 15th, which would be in the middle of meteorological summer and um so that is the best way to capture to express the um weather patterns according to the seasons so i will be considering spring to be starting tomorrow i hope we have some more snow in early spring but i don't think we will i don't know bye